I present to you the curious case of Debrickashaw Ferguson. Now you probably know Debrickashaw, you remember him. Normally when he comes up on our show, Nate is using his name for one of his Whiteboard Wednesdays answers because he really had a unique name. <laughs> Debrickashaw, number four overall pick out of Virginia. Big, big, big left tackle, played his entire career with the Jets was there on some of those good teams, some of those not so good teams, but he was always there. What you might not know about Debrickashaw is that he is one of the most underappreciated, unheralded Ironmen in the history of sports. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Debrickashaw did not miss snaps, ever, save for one oh. snap. Let me look at this. The total snaps possible of his whole career, 10,708. Total snaps played, 10707, which gives him a percentage of 99.991. Just for sake of comparison, Joe Thomas played 10,363 consecutive snaps. So Debrickashaw saved one wow. snap, was 400 snaps almost better than Joe Thomas. So why does it not get talked hmm. about? Well, because there was no great streak because it was broken. So you might ask, what was the play? Did he, did he turn his ankle? Just one play he missed? This is the weirdest part. We go to 2008. The Jets are backed up at the end of the game, losing to the Dolphins, and they tried the ridiculous lateral Stanford band play and took out DeBrickashaw. Take a look at this. This is Jets-Dolphins 2008. Look at the left tackle for the Jets. You might notice he's much smaller than DeBrickashaw Ferguson. That is not him. This is the only play in his career that DeBrickashaw missed. What you're gonna see here is Brad Smith, and he's gonna throw it over. I think that's Leon Washington. And it's the usual yakety sacks, hijinks as we get it to Lavernius. Now, wait a second, that's the left tackle. Is that Darrell Rivas? Darrell Rivas <laughs> lined up at left tackle for this play, taking DeBrickashaw off the field and snapping his streak. He's eventually gonna get the ball from Brad Smith. Again, this should be DeBrickashaw. 10 year career, one play, and this sort of uh, Keystone Cops nonsense, as Rivas is eventually gonna toss it and get tackled, is the only reason he is not routinely talked about as one of the true great Iron Man along Joe Thomas and Cal Ripken. It's an unbelievable thing that this was the reason that took him off. It's like as if Brett Favre's Iron Man streak was broken because they brought in Dorsey Levins to run a Wildcat play for one snap, or Eli's streak was broken because they brought in Tim Hasselbeck to take a knee at the end of the game. It is not right, it is not talked about, and DeBrickashaw made three Pro Bowls, but he should have gone wire to wire. If you hurt yourself, if you get spiked, you have to take out a play, that's football. This was a football crime, and I am so happy that we are exposing it to football folklore. DeBrickashaw Ferguson, you deserve better. One hell of an Iron Man. You should have never been out for that play.